So, Dr. Um, Blade, do you have a first name? You don't need to know that. Okay. Ooh, nasty head wound. Looks like subdural hematoma. Bleeding from the brain to the back of the head. Hey, how, how did you do that? Eyes in the back of my head. Three. I'm leaving. How did you do that? Told you, eyes in the back of my head. Right this way. Is it really necessary for me to be here? Well, that depends if you want to catch the guy who robbed you or not. Okay, what do you want to know? Alright, so, Carl Schultz, right? Why don't you tell me exactly what you remember about the robbery? I've already done this twice. Well, you know what they say. Third time's a charm. All right, fine. Well, I was working at the bar, mm -hmm. and this guy with a ski mask comes in at gun range and takes me for everything I got. How much did he take you for? At least 200, and then he ran out the door. Did you get a description of the guy? No, dumbass. I told you he was wearing a ski mask. Oh, did he or did he not? Grab a glass of scotch on the way out and take a drink. Oh yeah, he did that. Stupid moron. I'll say. You are free to go. But, before you go, would you mind giving us a sample of your fingerprints and your DNA? Yes, in fact. Yes, I mind. Have a nice day. Tell me again. I was working late again. Where do you work? I work at the Wildwood Carrier. Okay. Anyways, I was coming home late. So I called up Sharon and told her that I was coming home late. And she said she was in the bathtub taking a bath. Okay, now about what time was this? Around 10. I don't really remember. Anyways, I come home and find the door wide open. And she was dead in the tub. It was you that found the body? Yeah, and then I called the police. Okay, okay. Now, I found that kind of interesting, though, because you didn't have any blood or water on your clothes at all. Why would I? Well, because you found your wife laying dead in a tub of blood and water. If it were me, I'd go up, I'd be holding her, hugging her. Maybe the last time I ever see her. What are you trying to say? Uh, nothing, nothing. But just, hey, hey, hey. Does anybody else have a key to your house? No, why? Because we saw the door. It didn't really look broken into. Well, she left it unlocked for me. Why are you treating me like I'm some kind of suspect? All right, man, I'll stop. But hey... Would you mind giving us a DNA sample of your fingerprints? No, I'm gonna call my lawyer. That's what I'm gonna do. That's the tough guy thing to do. Alright. Alright. See you later. Bye bye. Hey, Belle. Yeah, Tim. So you don't have to do what I should do. We should open a restaurant. But not just a restaurant. Um, like a restaurant with, with a dance floor, but not just a dance floor, a suspended dance floor, it just floats there. What are you talking about? Alright, imagine this, imagine this. You got people dancing on the dance floor, okay? Now they're not just dancing, they're swinging! Where did we find you? LA. Okay, but the bigger question, why? Okay, well, this way you can feel all five senses of food. You can order. Yes. 
It's a restaurant. There's food there. Yeah. Oh, concept. Okay, well, listen, you can already taste it. You can already see it. You can already smell it. Now you can feel it, too. That's four senses. You can't hear your food. It's not like you pick up a cheeseburger and go, Tim, I'm a cheeseburger, eat me. Did you know that's all right? Tim, I'm a McShake, drink me. Did I miss something fun? No, just Tim being stupid. Oh, well, Tim's not stupid. Thank you. He's talking about spending a dance floor by chains in a restaurant. Okay, Tim's stupid. Hey. So it brings you by. Adam just called and found a van matching the description sitting in Pacific Avenue. Really? Really? Should we go over there? Yeah, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. What? What, Tim? That's actually a really good idea. We could have food that talks to you. What are you talking about? <laughs> Imagine, dude, just this is really smart. We could just put little speakers in these. It'd be like an iPod. But what happens when people swallow these little speakers? Hmm. You know what? I actually didn't think this through. Clearly. Okay, let's get out of here before we catch the stupid. I don't think it's stupid. It's actually kind of creative. Thank you. Either way, let's go. Hey, wait, 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 stop! No. Don't wait, no! Don't try to take my idea! I knew a guy at the post office! Surprise me too. The victim's DOA looks like signs of strangulation. Were you first on the scene? The neighbors are complaining of arguing, so they called the police and I rolled and found him dead. Thank God for nosy neighbors. Yeah, you might as well check in the back. I haven't looked there yet. <sighs> Who's the stiff? Well, apparently, through his ID, it says here that he's a 52 year old black woman. 429 pounds live in Chicago. Stolen credit cards, great. Well, there's the money. Why'd they kill the driver and leave the money? No honor among thieves. I guess they didn't want to share. I searched the van, but I only see one robber, and it's definitely the one that robbed the boardwalk bar and grill. Call Major K Squad, tell him to pick up this van. Where's your pen? Get your own pen. It died. I think you can move on. Hello? SVU Detective Reese, please. punched your nipple. I would kill you. You know, I've never punched someone in the nipple before. Never? Never. Hey. Damn it. I don't care, my damn nipple still hurts. You should've given me a pen. Are they back yet? Not yet. Nipple, didn't she? How do you know? I sense these things. I sure hope you guys have something. How about my swollen nipple? Alright, autopsy reports showed what we figured death by blunt force. Uh, trauma leading to a subdural hematoma. Dude, 